welcome back to Maeve Actually Plays Mermaid Swamp. Man alive. It has been a week. I apologize to those of you who uh, saw my tweet earlier in the week about some health issues I was having and may have gotten a little worried or alarmed. Don't worry, I'm fine. I, um, I have a chronic migraine issue and it was really flaring up and I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to... Uh, get together the beans that I needed to sit down and have a personality and record a YouTube video for you. But I think I'm in the clear for right now, so full steam ahead and let's get back into it. So it's been a little while since I last actually played Mermaid Swamp. Uh, the last four episodes were recorded all in a batch. And that turned out to be a good thing because several of you left some very helpful comments on the video, the last video with the, uh, let's see if I can pull this up here, this thing with the boobs slash eyes and the numbers. And through the help of these commenters, I was able to figure out that what the numbers are actually saying are directions. So like five steps down, two to the right, one down, eight to the right, and so on. So now the big question is, where do we start? And as much as I joke that the eyes are boobs, they're not. They're probably eyes because Rin said they were eyes. So the goal of this video is to figure it out. Maybe? Hopefully. In case you haven't noticed already, I think this game is fucking stupid. Okay? I've gotten that out in the open. It's airing out to dry. This game is terrible. Alright? But we're gonna play it anyway, because... That's the definition of Let's Plays, right? Horrible, horrible masochism. Okay. Let's get into it. Alright. So, eyes. I had one person suggest, I believe, that the eyes could possibly have something to do, I believe, with the room with the, the kids stuff in it, like the fishbowls, because, no, that's not what I wanted, sorry, been a little while. <clears throat> yeah, with the fishbowls, or the paintings, and I think I see, I see your logic, because you've got the two fishbowls, and you've got the two paintings which come together to form a circle. So, I mean, fuck it, let's try it, right? So, let's start... I don't actually know, because... I can't start here, because I'll just run out of space either way I go, because they, it's not going to leave me out of the door. But let's see what happens if we start from the painting. So it's five down and two to the left. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, two to the right. One, two. One down. Well, I can't go down. Okay, so I don't think that's it. Um... What about... Mm, <laughs> nope, that's the children's room. Other rooms... with eyes... Wait. Wait. I'm gonna shit my pants if this is correct. Eyes. I was freaked out by the great googly moogly goldfish. Right? Those look like eyes! I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. Fuck it. I don't like fish. In case that hasn't become apparent. I hate them. I hate fish. Ugh. Okay. Down five. Right two. One, two, three, four, five. Right two. Down one, down one, right eight. Down one, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Up three, right two. Okay. One, two, three, one, two. And oh! Huh? Huh? I faced my fears and it led me to a creaky floorboard. Bet I could pull out a plank. Hell yeah, I'll remove that plank. <gasps> Bozingo. Found a newspaper clipping. That's to say. Gonna make me do all the work. All right, that's fine. Article. It's a newspaper clipping from 1972, August. <gasps> the year, the year and the month. The year and the month, 1972, August. I know it's in my inventory, but anyway. <clears throat> Yesterday morning, Seiko Kawamoto, 29, and her children, Chie, 7, and Shio, 7, they don't like the fishies, were found dead in an irrigation channel in the city. Ooh. Eyewitnesses claimed that Seiko was drowning, leading Chie and Shio to jump into the channel after her and drown along with her. Ooh. That's it? That's it? All right. Cool. Hey, Seitaro. Do you have anything to say about newspaper clippings? You like old stuff. No. What if I show you it? No. Okay. Well, he sealed the note. He sealed the clock with the... Huh? Uh, what was that? It was in here, right? Yeah, clock stopped ticking no longer, blah, blah, blah. No, no, that wasn't it. I got in here to get the key. <sighs> Fuck it. I have a walkthrough up. Fuck it. I don't want to be here all day. Go unlock the master's room. And be sure to read the diary there. Did that. Lower Japanese room and check the closet for an old piece of paper. Saitara can read it to you. Listen, I will do as much of this game as I can on my own without this walkthrough, but I really don't want 16 episodes where, like, maybe one piece of progress happens because I'm too stupid. No. I'm sorry. None of this is my fault. The game is too stupid to give me clear directions. So, sorry. I guess. I'm, I'm over it. Oh, if I can remember where the Japanese room is. No, that's not it. Uh, fuck. Where is it? Now, the walkthrough can't help me find rooms. Here we go. So, I'm looking in the closet... That's not a closet. That's a door. What the fuck? Do I already have an old piece of paper? Did I get it in a... No, I already have that. I already figured that out. No, I got those. Is there something else in the... That isn't a closet. Apparently the walkthrough is not gonna matter because I can't find dick anyway. Futons, yeah, there's a closet. Oh, it's got a... What the fuck? Check in the closet for an old piece of paper. Seitaro can read it to you. It says, after doing everything you can, Seitaro will talk to you in the 2F hallway. So clearly I'm missing so... What the fuck was that? Y'all see that? Y'all see that, right? I ain't talking about the closet clothes, and I'm talking about the wrinkly old face. Alright. What you want? Walkthrough didn't tell me about the creepy old man face. Alright. Got an old piece of paper. Woohoo!
What's it say? Dot, 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 dot. Right, uh, yes. Can't read it. I'll go ask Saitara. All right. The theme of the day. Hey, hey Rin, come here for a sec. I'm coming. Yeah, what, Saitaro? Found a map? Please. Nope. I'm going to look places besides the study now. But first, you should take these. It's dangerous to go alone. Got a lighter and lantern. Why'd you have a friggin' lantern? And why should I care? It's dialogue. It's dialogue. Why should, why should you care? I don't know. Think about it, dummy. The power's out, right? And it's gonna be night soon. We need light to keep searching. There's one for Yuta, too, so give it to him. Yeah, except Yuta's dead. Maybe. Cool. Is Yuta back in his room? I guess I'll go see if he wants this. Clear directions. Ugh, oh, it's been so long. This is Yuta's room, right? Nope, that's Seitaro's room. Well, better luck next time. Nope, that's Yuka's room. You'd think I'd know that one by now. Looks like Yuta's inside. What? Yuka! Yuka! Uh-oh. I... Is he jerking it in there? Oh, I'm gonna be sick! Why? To Yuka too, did he seriously fall for her? Not to mention that he'd do this now. Nope, I am not brave enough to bust in there. I'll just leave the lantern and light and the here, he'll get it. I need to wash my brain. <sighs> I should rest soon. I'm tired of all this walking around. Lord Jesus, please. Please, Lord. Ah, fine. We'll go to bed. You doing it for me? Okay. Oh crap, I'm too damn worried about you get asleep. I can't just be sleeping at a time like this. I've got a lantern, so I'll look for a map. I haven't looked at the old mansion yet. Oh girl, you gonna die. And since I have a lighter, maybe I can get in that second floor room with the wax and the keyhole. Let's try it. All right, and now we get to the part of the RPG Maker game where we walk around in the dark with a light around us and everything else is spooky. Right, what about uh, Yuka? Yuda. I'm not reading that. Hey, what about you, girl? You wanted a fire? I'm sorry. Yep, yep. You know, it gets less terrifying the more times you look at it, right? Cold, cold, so cold. Warm up the room. There is a fireplace. Yeah, how about we light a fire? If I had fire and firewood, I could warm the room up. I mean, I have an old paper. No. Okay, well, come back to that. Explore the old mansion. New turf. I'm okay with that. Let's go explore the old mansion. Uh... You literally just said, I'm gonna go to the other mansion now, right? I didn't imagine that. Surely. Surely. What the fuck? I don't understand. Walk through. <laughs> Using the lighter to open. Oh, okay. All right. All right. I have a lighter so I can melt the wax in the door. Is this the one with the wax in it? Yeah. Yeah, it's wax. Okay. Scorch the keyhole with the lighter, melting the wax. Why was there wax in a door anyway? All right, cool, clock. Nothing to see here. I'm just gonna look in everything I see, that envelope, nothing inside the box. 
Got a letter. I'm gonna do all the work myself around here. Got a letter. What the fuck is that noise? Anyway. <laughs> Creatures of the dark. <laughs> Dear Yuki, it's Shida. I suppose the death, the deed has expired. My lawyer insisted that I demand compensation. Oh god, there's that noise for my emotional distress. I'm on my way now, so I'm only accepting it to cover the cost of child rearing. The children seem their old peppy selves again, maybe thanks to the counseling, but give me time to consider your offer. Like the children, my wounds have yet to heal. By the way, it seems that Chio lost the storeroom key while playing in the piano room. Really. I'm sorry, but you'll have to find it yourself. Take care of yourself. Seiko Kawamoto. What is that noise? I'm really scared that I'm gonna walk over into that half of the screen and just like... I can't even think of a punchline. Oh, there's nothing here. Great. Sounds like someone crying? Nothing in the bureau. Nothing in the bureau. So where is the crying? Where is the crying? No one in here. Spooky. Anyway. Kid lost the key to the storage room in the piano room, so I'm going to assume that it's somewhere in here. Yep. Horrible painting. Hey, I looked at that thing like three times. They couldn't have just given me the key then. There's something between the frame and the picture. Got a key. Key to the storage room. <laughs> I know we're running short on time, but I'll go a little bit over because I want to find the storage room, and I forget where that is, and I want to unlock it, and then I'll, then I'll cut it, I promise. Uh, wait, this room was locked. Are you the key? Yes, storage room. Cool. What's in here? Miscellanea. Contains cleaning implements. Heating guns. Hunt- Hunting guns. I have been waking way too much cosplay. Okay. Ah, firewood! I've got a lighter so I can warm up Yuka's room. Hmm. Yes. Of course I'm going to take the firewood. Why wouldn't I? My friend is dead slash dying. Cool. All right. I will light the fire in Yuka's room and end the episode. Maybe then she'll stop making the gurgly noises. Place the firewood. Yes. There we go. Now just light it up. Whoosh. All right. The room should be warmer soon. Yuka should be good for now. Wait for us, okay? We'll get you to a hospital. Yeah, you fucking better. Great. Okay. That's nice. What a nice place to end this episode. Ah, <sighs> few little scares in there. I'm really wondering what that crying, scary noise was upstairs, huh? Boy, oh boy. All right, well, we got shit done. Thanks to my walkthrough, and I guess I helped too. I don't know. Anyway, thank you very much for tuning in. So happy to see you this week. I was really afraid that wasn't going to happen, but we prevail. And as always, I am Maeve, actually, and I hope that you have a very good day. Bye!